Welcome back, I'm Jay. We got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show. Thank you so much for joining. Today we are talking about the Shut F7 VTD LX1 youth football helmet. Before we get into that, please, if you love football helmets, this is the channel for you. Be sure to like and subscribe below so you can get more videos. And we talk about your pictures. So we have a whole segment where you can call, you can send your pictures in and we will uh, critique your helmets as nicely as we can, right? Steve? That's right, every Sunday. Yeah, so let's get into these a little bit. I think this helmet is about the best bang for the buck if you're getting yourself into uh, a youth football helmet. Youth football helmets are for people under the age of 14. If you are in high school or you hit 14, you really need to kind of be in an adult helmet. They're, they look exactly the same as the adult helmets that you have the guys in the NFL wearing. Uh, so I think that that's pretty great. Uh, when you buy a helmet from Green Gridiron, you get the, just the helmet. You got to buy the face mask separately. We've got silver masks on all these, so you can see a couple of the different options that you can choose from. We've got different materials. They can come in carbon steel or titanium. Price points are different, but we've got a big sale going on right now on some of our titanium, so you might want to check that out and add those to your helmet because it's a deal you're probably not going to see again once we run out of them. We sell these in 12 different colors. Uh, you can get custom colors, contact us. Uh, if you're looking for something fancy, if you want, you can get, you know, there's a million different paint options, but we're, we, we sell all of the molded colors. Uh, so these are not painted helmets. This is, I mean, if you cut these in half, you would see the same color all the way through. All of the helmets that we sell have the black TPU liners. That's an upgraded feature right here. And they come with black chin straps. And on the back, black bumpers with white teeth and the white shut mark on there and black jaw stabilizers. You're getting a pretty good blackout package on this. The one black thing that you don't get are the clips. The clips are actually clear. If you want to upgrade to black, we have those available on the website and we can put those on the face mask for you when we, you know, if you get them at the same time that you buy the helmets, so you're gonna get four of the clear face mask clips. Most places will sell these helmets with the, the twist clip, Steve, you know what that's called? Uh, yeah, that quarter turn uni clip thing. Yeah, it's like a uni clip and you kind of put the mask in and then you gotta turn it to get it on here. I don't like them, so I'm like, you know what? We're just not gonna order those when we order the helmets. So um, if you like these, or if you wanna put a 3D bumper in here, which a lot of people do, then these are the clips that you're gonna have to get anyway, so you don't need to buy these extra for that. And these helmets will also fit a lot of the vengeance style. So you can plug on any vengeance mask or any uh, F7 mask, which is great. These weigh about a little bit over four pounds. Yeah, with a regular mask, but if you do a titanium, it's just under. Yeah, so titanium is gonna be about a third the weight. So if this is a one pound mask, that it's only gonna be about a third of a pound, so you're probably gonna be down to like a three and a half pound yeah. point. Pretty light. In there somewhere. Um, these are five-star rated helmets from the Virginia Tech Helmet Drop System Rating System, uh, which is as good as it gets. They've got inflatable uh, pads on the inside. And when you buy one of these helmets, you get one of these bags right here, shut bag. And then we also throw in with any purchase over $5 from our website, you get a free American flag decal. So I'm gonna go through real quick and just talk about the different style codes here, just so you know. So this is gonna be the, you'll see this is, Steve, can you tell how that that's a, it's a longer or a bigger face mask on oh, this yeah, purple helmet? For sure. Yeah, so on the purple helmet here, this is the RJOP version. So this is the F7 RJOP. Uh, this is actually RJOP DW. And then we have the ROPO version here on the green helmet. On the yellow helmet, we've got the EGOP. And on the blue helmet, we've got the R-O-P-O-D-W. All of these are visor compatible. So if you see a VC in the face mask code, that stands for visor compatible. And they're also NB, which stands for no brow. So these are all kind of straight all the way across the top. So these would be the F7 uh, R-O-P-O NB VC. Did you know that there was this much that went into face masks, everybody. It's too much, Steve, it's too much, I'll tell you that. Um, as far as the visors that we recommend for this, there are a couple that we definitely do not recommend. I do not recommend the new Shock Zero G visor because that's specifically for a speed flex. The two visors that I think fit these the best are gonna be the Shock 1.0 visors. So if you're looking for a visor, that's a great one for one of these helmets. And also the Under Armour, any of the Under Armour visors fit these pretty good as well. 
Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, so listen, I hope you uh, got some good information out of this video. Again, like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you are into football helmets in any capacity. We really appreciate it. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.